right. Brian Particelli, 2Fab.com here. How are you both today? Good. You? Really good. How are you? I'm great. Happy to be in Chicago with you both. That's right. I see. (laughs) Um, I've watched the first few episodes of this season. It is a blast. But for you, I guess... What were your first reactions to seeing each other in costume for the first time? Because you have some wild looks. Well, <laughs> that's actually that's a very <laughs> that's funny. A good uh, yeah, yeah. Because I think both of us, in particular, look quite different. So yeah, yeah. No, yes. I, I thought I thought you looked like a, the vision of Sally Bowles from Everyone's Dream. I mean, you look so amazing. That looks so incredible, and that 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 haircut and that wig is so fetching on you. So that's fetching. Amazing. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. I thought very different things about Aaron when I saw him in his wig. Um, I actually, for a second, I thought they were joking. Because I saw the wig form, and I was like, whose is that? Yeah. And they were like, that's Aaron. And I was like, shut up. Oh they were like, no, for real, that's Aaron's hair the whole season. Oh, my gosh. But I mean, listen, there's not much you could do to this kid to make him not adorable <laughs> and gorgeous and all the things. Oy. But also, you know what I will say? I actually thought that your whole, like, the jeans and the whole look was very, like, contemporary. Like, I was like, oh, that's really kind of gorgeous it kind of, well, yeah, the jeans were like they weren't vintage those are like off the rack like <laughs> jeans from now because bell bottoms are are back, back. so they're yeah. back baby yeah no, it's we, also jealous I was say, this fucking freezing <laughs> yeah, the whole time yeah, and you yeah. got to be so comfortable yeah <laughs> yeah right because the 90s are back in and the 90s were kind of the 70s that's so right get that's true all that vibe again that's right, <laughs> that's right. for for dub just how daunting is it to take on a role that is automatically going to draw comparisons to liza you're the, you first person, you're the first person to ask that question. Um, very daunting. And I will go, I will be so transparent and say that I am in no way trying to actually emulate Liza because I think that Liza is not only an iconic performer, but her in that role was transformative for, for me, for so many yeah. people. That musical is so important for so many reasons. And the world that we're inhabiting in Schmigadoon is paying homage. And also it's like a campified version, right? So I knew that if I was sitting yeah. at oh, home yeah. every night trying to be <laughs> Liza, I was going to be crying myself to sleep. It's impossible. <laughs> She's an icon, you know? And the world that we're inhabiting here is our love letter to these shows. It's It's by no means actually attempting to recreate or build upon these characters it's and it's a blend of a few different characters as well you know there's a little bit of Of Velma Kelly and all of these things so so I I relieved myself from that pressure early on smart (laughs) good (laughs) and you know season one one was such a blast just were you worried about maybe being able to top it this time around and when you know during filming were you like oh yeah we've done it like this is this is a great moment I don't think I don't think we really Maybe we should have been worried about that, but I don't we think weren't. we were. I think that I think we were just so excited that we got to do this again. You know, season one felt yeah. like such a gift because especially the timing and the circumstance, you know, we shot it truly in the middle of the pandemic, like the first five months of the, like we started shooting it after the pandemic began. <laughs> so I think the fact that we all just got to come together and do this again was so much fun. And, and but, you know, our writers are amazing and we really trust yeah. Cinco. And once I heard kind of, any of this music, I just thought like, oh my God, this is just taking it to a whole nother level. So I, I really don't think we were too worried, but that's because the people that are really in charge really know what they're doing and we just get to <laughs> kind of go on the ride. Yeah. We have a great like sort of safe, safe facility to experiment and yeah. play and just yeah. get to have fun. And you know, this one, we do get to get into the 60s and 70s. I'm thinking season three, which hopefully we get. What would you love to maybe see or dive into from the 80s and 90s? I know some of you have experience in shows from that time, so it makes it adds another layer to it all. Yeah, I'm I'm very interested to see where this could possibly go. I mean, there is something very meta of uh, if there were to be anything in Les Misérables, I, I wonder, you know, because I was in the film, if I I'd be able to like do something that would not at that, but was, you know what I mean? I don't know. I just think that there could be yeah. like a very funny reference. Well, and for... that's, that's the other thing too, is that like, the, I think part of the charm of Schmigadoon is that it's a comedic portrayal of these characters, right? right? Like you're never yeah. earnestly <laughs> fully committing to like the tragedy of a lot of these musical backgrounds. So a lot yeah. of the musicals that came directly after are so steeped in tragedy yeah. that it's, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what they do. Cause I actually, I don't know. I don't know either. But if, I, if we have a season. But three. I do wonder though, if there's, as we get as we get later on and go into more musicals, you know, there's people in our cast that have been in these shows. So right. how so you could yeah. actually then like <laughs> double and triple down at some of the references too. So I'd be interested to see how they could how they could do that. 
Well, I will be watching. I can't wait to watch the rest of the season. And thank you both for your time thank today. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you for your time. Have a good thank one. So